What is going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm out on one of my favorite big fish lakes. Haven't been out here since probably December and I really have no idea what's going on but hopefully these fish are going to be into that spring feeding mode. Today's going to be really warm. It's obviously like bluebird skies and sunny. I hope it's going to warm the water up. Right now we got 54.9 so almost 55 degrees. I think in the backs of some of these creeks we're going to see high 50s maybe 60 and i'm hoping that these fish are going to be pushing up and the reason that i like coming here is because this is where i come and catch big fish i don't catch many usually but it's always good for at least like one good big bite that's what i'm after today before we start fishing i want to thank mystery tackle box for sponsoring this video if you guys don't know what mystery tackle box is it's an awesome company which sends a bunch of different baits to your house every month great value and the cool thing about it they might not send you something that you normally buy and that's going to make you a more versatile fisherman because they may send you a jerk bait or some sort of plastic that you're not normally going to pick up and throw but since you get it from mystery tackle box you might give it a shot and you might find a new bait that you really really like so let's take a quick look at what we got and i'm going to throw a couple of the baits in here today hopefully catch some giants on it but first up We've got the Guggen Squad and Catchco Collab Scout, which is their jerk bait. Pretty sick looking jerk bait. I'm actually gonna rig this up and throw it around. The water clarity looks just about right to throw a jerk bait around. We've got a couple different plastics in here. We have a Bass Dynasty Dynacraw, which could be used as a jig trailer or on a Texas rig. And this is the time of year that you wanna be throwing these big creature baits around. We've got another creature bait here. This is the Carl's Amazing Baits varmint which is a beaver styled bait probably throw this on a jig trailer or texas rig this as well and let's see we've got a couple hooks from daiichi we've got a bagley sunny b like a moderate diving crankbait now these are really interesting these are called the live shotten it's a little fly looks like you tie it on as a drop shot bait and i've never seen anything like this but i guarantee that this would work in super clean water something just so finesse and different i mean i might even give that a shot today and last but not least we have some carl's stash drop shot weights which i definitely needed so that's what we got in the box we're going to throw some of those baits around if you guys want to check out the mystery tackle box i'm going to leave it linked down in the description below you click that link you'll be able to save yourself some money i believe you can get your first box for as little as 10 bucks using my code sbfish so make sure you click that Huge thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Let's go get some donkeys. So one of my favorite jerk baits is the Mega Bass 110. This looks pretty, pretty similar. Definitely the same size. I don't know how the action is gonna differ, but we'll check it out. Water is actually way cleaner than I thought it was when I dropped in. Uh, it's probably like five or six feet of clarity. That seems like perfect jerk bait conditions to me. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Two hours and 45 minutes later, first fish of the day. Real, real squeaker here. <laughs> Feels good to get bit though. So that first fish came on the spinner bait. I was basically just fishing this secondary point with this giant tree coming off of it. Made a cast across it and just pulled the spinner bait slow rolled it down through the branches he ate it maybe there's a couple more there oh that was sick <laughs> all right secondary points with wood granted it's another small fish cast it across the top of that tree Saw him come up and smoke it. Small ones, but sure there are some bigger ones around. 
little spinnerbait action. It's a white war eagle, three eighths ounce. One gold, one silver willow leaf blade. That was neat. Most of those fish I just caught within five minutes of each other were both secondary points with wood. Remember how I said this is a good big fish lake? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta weed through these guys. Sick. Number three. Finally, figuring something out now. Oh my God. There must be a thousand dinks on this thing. Number four. It's like three casts in a row almost. So I'm trying to get him. Perfect swim bait size bass. All right, all right. All right, I slowed down and threw this jig through that tree, didn't get any more bites. So I'm at the back of this creek right now. And I'm actually gonna run back there real quick just to see what the water temp is. It's 57 and a half here, which is probably two degrees warmer than the main lake. But I wanna go back there and just see. I don't think there's probably many big fish back here. Maybe the small ones push back first because that tree that I just caught those two fish out of is about three quarters of the way back this creek. Dink City. It's all the way back here. It's like a foot of water back here in this creek. Inner bait. I'm just happy to be getting bit right now. It's fine with me if they're small ones. I think we can probably find the bigger ones by fishing a little bit deeper and towards the main lake. Fish are definitely related to wood though. At least the small ones. I mean, we could put these on a cracker. They're all tiny. Very pretty fish, though. Fishy! Crankbait fish. I just fished this entire wall. There's a ton of this rock and wood mixed in, ranging from like two to 10 feet. See ya. Definitely not catching the size we're looking for today. So this is actually a custom crankbait. My buddy David goes underwater warrior fishing paints. It's just a crawl pattern. Uh, it's a KO wart blank. Pretty sick crankbait. It seems like the perfect thing to be throwing right now, especially with all these rocks and wood. I threw the spinnerbait for probably half of this bank and then the crankbait for half. It's been tough. Not very many bites. That was fish right there. Feels a little bit bigger. I about the same. Oh, he wanted it though. Both hooks. Yeah. So we've got a couple fish on crankbaits, a couple fish on spinnerbaits. So yeah. Missed a fish on the Texas rig. I would say pretty standard springtime baits. I just need a big one. Oh, that's the biggest fish of the day right there. <laughs> it's not very big either. Oh, there's another one chasing it. Right on this main lake point. Get up in here. 
All right, that's definitely the biggest fish of the day, chunky guy. Still not huge, but he's probably pound and a half. I mean, full. They're getting bigger. I'm not mad at it. Glad that jerk bait's starting to work a little bit. So yeah. He had another fish about the same size, chasing it up too. It was just on the inside of this point, like leading into this little gut. So since that wind died down, I mean, we got a little, tiny little bit of chop on the water, but the majority of the wind is gone. So I switched over to the jerk bait. That's when I like to throw the jerk bait a little bit over the spinner bait is when that wind dies and they're still reacting to baits and like I can get this pretty close to wood and just work it through. And I mean, it seems to be working. So I'm going to keep throwing it. I'm throwing this on a 6.8 medium heavy or sorry, 6.8 medium moderate action rod. I really like the moderate action just because when you do hook into a fish, you have a lot of play. Like this rod will be completely bowed over. It's like almost parabolic. And throwing that on 12 pound fluorocarbon. There we go. Jerk bait. Day of the Dinks. Mm hmm. Bingo. Jerk bait. Oh, buddy. That's number 11. Boy, oh, boy. Oh my god, that fish almost ripped the rod out of my hand. Came back to the tree, I was, oh, sorry, dude. See ya. Came back to this tree on the secondary point where I caught like the second and third fish of the day. I just wanted to see if any of the bigger fish had moved up into this thing. Uh, not a good sign. This spot is definitely holding fish. That fish was so aggressive with this Texas rig. I mean, I reeled down to it and it almost pulled it right out of my head. Spinner bait's still working. Ay, ay, ay. I think that's like fish. That's probably 13th or 14th fish I've caught. Well, it's been a pretty long day. We've been out here for about eight hours. I think we've caught 13 or 14 fish and nothing over a pound and a half. I've just been basically fishing over the entire lake, throwing a bunch of different baits, really just hitting the same spots once or twice too, just to see if any of these bigger fish have moved up. Doesn't look like they have, even though the water temp in here is 61. Uh, the main lake is just a few degrees cooler, but I don't know. I really have no idea what these fish are doing. I mean, we're catching a bunch of small buck bass, but you know, we're looking for the big mama. 10 hours out on the water today. I got out at about nine. It's seven, actually it's like 7.30 right now. I'm pretty tired. Probably caught 15 fish, spinner bait, jerk bait, Texas rig, crankbait. And I really thought I was gonna be able to catch something big, mondo size big, but could only get the small ones to bite today. I think that's just kind of the way it goes, early spring, still waiting for the big ones to move up. We saw 60 degrees today, actually 61 is what we saw at the highest point, which was really good. And it really had my hopes up that the big fish were gonna start doing their thing and moving up and getting shallow, but Maybe they were, I couldn't find them. I think looking back, I should have spent a little bit more time fishing deep, just spending, you know, 10 minutes in some of these deeper trees and like really letting that Texas rig milk or throwing a jig or, yeah, I don't know, some sort of bottom bait and just get it in front of their face. I don't know. But 
I need to drive home. I got about an hour drive. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Huge thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you guys on the next one.